All right, we are live. And not really. Well, you're not. Are you, are you undead? What's something happened while I was at work? What, what are you talking about? I just meant the mic was on. Okay. Okay. Thought we were doing a live radio show. No, something like that. Recorded live at an earlier time. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Welcome to the Vices in Parallel 30 Minutes to Kill podcast. You are listening to the Vices and Terramo show, 30 Minutes to Kill, more or less. We are a horror movie review podcast featuring horror, suspense, and psychological thrillers. You can find us on iTunes, Stitchers, and Podomatic, just about anywhere. Just type in V-I-C-I-S-I-N-T-E-R-I-M-O. I am your host, Michael Mad Saxon jones here with my lovely wife and co-host, Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi. You're feeling a little under the weather today, is that correct? A little bit, yes. Well, that's all right. Cheering, 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 cheering you up, we'll do this podcast. Uh, Yoda, I am. Um, okay. Yeah. Doing this podcast will cheer you up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a cheer problem, though. Oh, well. It's more of a physical problem, not a mental one. Well, anyhow. <laughs> Maybe it'll just generally cure what ails me? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. All right. Anyhow, That's generally we have four segments to the show. Laid to rest where we talk about anything from previous episodes that need to be tied up. A short review of a featured film or movie. That uh, would be Spring, the horror romance. Yeah, I guess. Is that how it's described? No, that's how I'm describing it. Okay. Uh, Garbage in, garbage out, where we talk about TV shows, movies, or anything we may have enjoyed over the last few weeks or so. And we end with a crawling chaos, a topic or factoid that we have never talked about on the show before. Sometimes silly, sometimes serious, most always chaotic. So, Do you have one for us today? I don't. Really? Well, I mean, I've got a couple of things to choose from, but if you've got something, I'll, I'll take that. In the meantime, let's take this moment to thank our patrons at Lonely Bob, Big Al V, and Goldafish, and then just jump right into the show. As always, I ask you, do you have anything to cover from the last show? Anything you forgot about Pie Wacket? Anything we need anything to you forgot rest. to cover? Yes, that needs what to be What else did we talk about in last week's show? In last week's show, we briefly talked about the movies, because um, we had seen lots of them. And so we talked about Hereditary. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's terrible is what that is. Um, we are talking about that too, or at least I was online, because uh, Jason from Horophilia had uh, watched it again, and yeah, um, th- those guys, they, they, don't, they, they don't like it. Lots of people really? don't like it, and I understand. It's not it, for everyone. It is not for everybody, and the things that were really good about it for me... Um, it was definitely... I, I really liked it the first time we saw it, and I liked it even more the second time. Yeah. But that's because, well, for me, it was because I was settled into it. And so on. the first time I saw it, they were... It kept punching you in the face? Yeah, (laughs) exactly. That's how I felt watching it. (laughs) Yeah, it it was actually shocking to me. Yes. Um, Only, yeah, I don't want to give anything away or whatever. We talked about that before. Anyhow... We've gone on about this. We, but anyhow, you asked what else we talked about. What else about. did we talk about? We talked about Tully. Yeah. And did you have anything else to wrap up as far as that went? What about so. uh, What about Melissa McCarthy? Um, life, <laughs> life of the party. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anything there? I saw you trying to look up stuff online about campus ladies. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> And you know that's actually out there. I think you can you can get that now. Oh, it is good. It's available. So it's it's it was kind half of an sketch. odd kind of humor. Yeah, because I mean it was half it was an improv type thing. It was half scripted and half yeah. improv. Yeah. And um, 
<laughs> yeah, it was. A, again, I thought it was not all for funny. everyone. I, uh, yeah. I'm surprised I liked it so well because I'm, again, I'm you such a hard You don't normally go one. for that type of humor. and Yeah, comedy is real hard for me. Yeah, indeed. Anyhow, let's, uh, I don't think there was much more to cover there. Let's just get into talking about. Um, spring? Spring. I'm not sure whether it's uh, 2014 or 2015, but anyhow. I'm sorry about your mom. That makes me. Watch where the fuck you going, bitch! Get out of town, Evan. Can I get a flight somewhere? Anywhere. Actually, hold on a second. Should I go to Italy? What? Seeing this girl, she's really pretty. That shit gives me some doubts. You're the most attractive person I've ever seen. But that doesn't outweigh that you might be a mental patient, and I gotta make sure you're the kind of crazy I can deal with. No, no. I'm a bunch of confusing biochemistry and some crazy hormones. <laughs> Let's see if the yank of cape out, like. I don't think you're ready for where this is going. Explain it to me. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here. When I saw it online, it said 2014. Did you see 2015 written? Somewhere? I saw 2015 listed some, somewhere on the, well, might some, have been on the Netflix Sometimes thing. movies do that if they come out late in the year. I think people get confused, whoever yeah. types up this stuff on websites. Well, like Internet Movie Database will have one date and Netflix will have another. Yeah. Or uh, whatever. So what is the story? A young man in a personal tailspin flees the U.S. to Italy where he sparks a romance with a woman harboring a dark, he's, primordial secret. He's in a personal tailspin. Yeah, he was having a rough. Was quite a, he'd had a bad night. Days. He'd had yeah, a bad week. Yeah, it was more than just a single night there. I think. Yeah. Um, what did you think of his character in general? You know, it's funny because I liked him. Yeah. I did. But I you like him at times, but he, not at it, others. Yeah, exactly. I oscillated between. He was very yeah. like, he he really set the tone, I think, for the movie, or did the movie set the tone for his personality? I don't know. But the issues that I had with the movie, I also had with him. Okay. I don't know. I think that's... It's like the, the movie as a whole was um you know kind of it was you know smart and artistic and but then there were moments of just stupidity on the part of the characters <laughs> oh, okay. but it was kind of a a little too much contrast maybe for me oh see that's what i liked about it for me for me everything i felt in this movie developed in a organic way i don't know how else to describe it wish i had a better okay. vocabulary and could you know say this more eloquently but i am surprised to say that i was entertained by everything i saw okay 
Um, I mean, it wasn't and, a huge problem. Well, it was that was all I really took issue with. Otherwise, I I don't really have any complaints. Okay. Yeah. No, I liked it. Um, this absolutely not for everybody. No. Um, this is a very slow burn. Well, no, nah, I don't know. No, it starts with a bang. It does start with a bang. Uh, it's here's what it is. Here's what I read online. All of the one-star reviews or the no-star reviews, people said this is just a romance movie. This is not horror. And there's the phone. So, yes, most people, that was their... They couldn't get past all the romance. They were looking for horror. There wasn't enough horror. It was just a guy and a girl and all their cute little romance stuff. And that just annoyed people. I get that. Mm -hmm. I can see that. I understand that. Um, the yeah, if you're, horror... if you're sitting down to watch a horror movie, I mean, and of course, as we know, there's horror is a pretty sub, broad categories sure. galore underneath sure. horror. Yeah. But yeah, so I think it was the people that were really looking to sit down and enjoy a horror movie. They were like, "What is this crap?" A lot of this, the information, a lot of the horror or the explanation of the horror. Was uh -huh. done in information dumps yes. too. It felt like uh -huh. um, because it wasn't central throughout the entire story. Here's another thing that could be clouding my judgment as far as enjoying this. Yeah, we want we <laughs> we watched a lot of Daredevil <laughs> over the past week. Okay, we, we binge watched that, so this was a break from the action of that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm talking a broad. Generalities okay. here, whatever. So it didn't have enough ex action and. No, it did, and that's what I'm saying. It was a nice break oh, a nice, from that. Nice contrast, um, okay. and not that because I'm really enjoying Daredevil, but that's something else for late to rest. Right. But um, so that might have colored my judgment for this one, and may have made me more tolerant than I should have been. Uh, what do you <laughs> more tolerant than you should have been? Than more people than other people would oh, be. Oh, okay. Is, I guess. Because I want to be like everybody else. You know, I yes, want to fit in. Of course. Yeah, I'm a sheeple. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, bah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think I liked the story, and I don't mean the story of, um, you know, American boy gets in trouble in his town, flees the country, goes to Italy for an escape, and just to do something different, and to not be in trouble anymore, and meets a girl, and... That's not the story I liked, but I liked her story. Okay. But it's because I'm a total Lovecraft weenie. <laughs> and I wonder how long before we got around to that. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> um, I, I, we don't want to do spoilers, so I don't really want to talk about what's going on here. Okay. Because it was fun watching the struggles this girl was having. Okay. Because I kept thinking, what... Uh, what the heck? Like, what? <laughs> okay. what is she? What is happening here? And I love the explanation, but I love mythology. I love history. I love a good story. That's what I liked about it. Okay. Um, it could have been done a dozen different ways, and I maybe would have liked it just as well because that's what I liked about it. Okay. If that makes sense. Sure. Sure. Uh, that kind of cuts me off from talking about what I wanted to talk about. Um, it shouldn't. Only because, I, I, like you said, I really don't want to do spoilers. And I right. think that um, if you are a, a Lovecraft fan, and if you've actually read his works, yeah, I, I don't mean a Lovecraft fan of the movies like right. Reanimator from and, Beyond. And we don't are, mean you just like things with tentacles. <laughs> yeah. It's got to go a little deeper than that. <laughs> exactly. Deeper than it. If you would read Lovecraft, I think you would enjoy this. Yes. If you are somebody to sit down and read the, his lesser known stories, you know, if you're going to read, well, I was going to say lesser mm -hmm. known, The Color Out of Space, but that's been done into a movie and this well, and that. that's not but that. If that's you would sit down and read one. it, if you would sit down and read his work, yes, you I think would be pleasantly surprised, and the horror elements would be light enough for you to enjoy. That was something else that I did want to talk about, though. One of the things that happens here is a American traveler goes over to Europe and falls in with other people. Mm -hmm. That always makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I was a little as, nervous. Which. 
is, you know what? I haven't traveled though. I mean, I've traveled the U.S. I, right. I flew not out like here that, not though. knowing anybody. But no, I have not. You didn't on a backpack and trek across Europe and stay in hostels and meet random people. And, yeah, I haven't had, you know, the, yeah, the a, crib a line for, I mean, the, a phrase from Fight Club. I didn't have a lot of single serving friends. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's always disconcerting to me. Um, whereas uh, another good movie example of that was um, The Ruins. Yeah. In the ruins, that was a very uncomfortable. Their meeting for that one, them going down south, right. running into some Germans that were traveling. Well, everything was fine until Hostel came out. Well, <laughs> well, it even changed I, the ter it changed the meaning of Hostel. Yeah. To a lot of people. Okay. Because I knew people who traveled all over Europe and would stay in hostels all the time. Right. And then that movie came out. <laughs> Damn, Eli Roth. And then you say, oh, yeah, I know someone who stayed in a hostel or they're going to. And people go, oh, my God, don't you know that people, you know, <laughs> get killed in those things and you'll lose your organs or you'll be tortured or. Yeah. It's like, no, no, it's hostels have been around for many years and yeah. that's a lifestyle for many people. So <laughs> the. Uh, but yes, in movies, it makes you nervous. It, now. It, it does. So. Anyhow, getting back on track, uh, the fact yeah, what? <laughs> that, um, I don't know, I had a point there about the, the running into travelers and just, right. you know, picking up and, well, and traveling, and that, but I would accept it in a movie, like when I read the book, I actually read the yeah. book, The the Ruins, it was fine when it happened in there, but actually watching and seeing it, just because, like you said, because of Hostel, because of other movies like that, yeah. or watching lots of horror movies like, oh, right. I don't know if I want to travel with people or... I would take precautions. So Anyhow. now, all of that being said, that's just a very tiny little part of this movie. Well, so here's my notes. that I, it, was, it was about 30 minutes in when all of a sudden it shifts gears and like suddenly I'm like, WTF is going on here? Um, what happened 30 minutes in? Well, he got to Italy. Okay. Um, yeah, because you're not sure where the movie is going. Um, well, that from was the, the only beginning. place he went. Well, I mean, he was over in Europe and stuff, too. He went to other places. And no, then he flew to Italy. A different part of Italy, then? Because, yeah. I mean, he went to he the coast, He flew into basically. Italy, and then he met the two guys, right. and they all road trip to the coast. Yeah. And they left him there. Um, his choice. Yes, his choice. Didn't, didn't end badly. Um, so do you feel the movie became something different when he was on his own after that? No, see that's what that's that what point, I mean. Let's talk. Let, why is this rated R? We're gonna shift gears, but we're gonna come right back. Okay, this language thing's rated R for absolutely for the language, for the yeah. nudity, the sexual situations, or do they call it adult situation? Whatever. Whatever. We used to call it adult situations when we were children. <laughs> um, so starts out. He lives in America. I don't even know what city it's supposed to be. Any town USA. I have no well, idea. Yeah, somewhere in California. Um, looked kind of localish. It looked local. They looked like our people. <laughs> Something Let's hope like not. That. Um, but yeah, um, he's hanging out with his friend. Lots of coarse language. Like these are oh. not pe these are not people I would hang out with. Okay. Um, not that I don't hang out with people who have coarse language. I'm just saying. <laughs> That got weird. You'd have to watch the movie, I guess. <laughs> um, maybe I used to hang out with people like that when I was younger, but not really. Um, you know, so I did. That's bar the... stuff and yeah, no, like looking for trouble. I felt like they weren't afraid to put themselves in dangerous situations. Yeah. Um, what am I saying? I don't know. We were supposed to come back to. Italy. To, to Italy. So anyway, there was that. It introduces you to his character. It introduces you to his buddy. You get to see how they interact with each other, the kind of life they have here. He moves on. He's in Italy. He hooks up with these other two guys. Like, it's uh, very much okay. a party, rowdy lifestyle. Lots of drinking, you know, girls, whatever. Carefree, young lifestyle, right? Yeah. <laughs> But then, so I was wondering if when you feel like it changed was when he was alone, he was very much a different person. Um, and that's where I'm saying it. Like, that's when you get to know him better. 
Okay. When he's not drunk or being stupid or fighting or cussing or having sex. Uh-uh. Okay. When it's just him and he actually speaks, yeah. like he he's actually. I guess so. Yes, I understand what you're saying, and it didn't feel different for me. That's what I meant about it feeling organic and so on, because to a greater or lesser extent, um, I knew those people. It was. I'm not saying I was one of those people or whatever, but. I know what it's like to be like that and be different when you're by yourself or with somebody else. Well, yeah, of course. So, but, but I mean, my point is, watching this movie, I was entertained by everything that was happening. Right. And though yeah, it and had, I'm not saying and, it was entertaining or not entertaining, and okay. I'm not criticizing but, it either. But you know, it didn't, just saying didn't feel like a different two, movie to me. It felt were, like it was just one continuous. Okay. I'm going to call it a wave form. Well, I okay. Didn't say it sounded like I didn't say it was like two different movies either. Well, what were you saying then? You were asking me if I felt like that was different and something changed then. You said then. a half hour in, you were like, WTF, what is happening here? Like, what was so shockingly different from the first half hour? Oh, well, that was a specific scene and stuff that was that I was referring to. Okay. Okay. I'm so confused. It's when the horror element gets introduced or whatever. Okay. Did you yeah. forget it was a horror movie? <laughs> sure, it maybe easy. that was it. It was easy to forget. Okay. Don't... Don't you agree? That's the whole thing that people criticized it. It didn't have enough horror. Okay. I, I, Too subtle of a story? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I didn't... I wasn't looking at it from that standpoint. I was just along for the ride. Right. And willing to to take the... I guess you know. I was just... Because of the, the nature of the... The setting, beautiful setting, beautiful mm-hmm. scenery, where in Italy... You know, all of that was very, um, you know, rustic and old and beautiful. And it contrasted with his life here and with the guys he was hanging out with. I feel like that reflect was reflected also in his own personality. I guess that's what I was trying to say in okay. the beginning. Maybe I'm going too deep here. <laughs> but I, I almost feel like it was done intentionally. I'd like to talk to whoever who, whoever wrote this thing. Okay. It seemed like it was very intentional, like putting those two contrasts in there. Maybe I Am I giving it too much credit? No, I, I think, and that's what I was going to say and stuff. This is very much a, for lack of a better term, I'm going to say an art house type project. Well, parts of it was super artsy fartsy. <laughs> and it Not had, in a bad way, but no. I, I, I just hey, don't, I have do the, artsy, like, I don't have the vocabulary to say it any better than that. Artsy fartsy. Um, the soundtrack. You know, beautiful, perfect music for different scenes, um, visually artistic and beautiful. Uh huh. But yeah, and then just these kind of coarse things put in here and there. But yeah, it seemed like that was also just his. Uh, I don't but, know. But they, yeah, okay. I don't know. We're going on way too long about this. All right. Uh, what did you think of all the acting? I thought the acting was great. I Me thought too. everything was perfect. I everybody thought was everything, super believable. Yeah. Yeah, they did not look or sound like they were acting at all. No. Yeah. No. It was that That's was That's why I use the word organic good. and stuff because everything felt like it flowed. Yes. And it felt like yeah. So Yeah, it felt very natural and yeah, realistic. What do you want to give this one as a number? I have no idea. Okay. I'll start then by saying that I would give it a solid three. Okay. Um I liked it. That's... I can't say that I l- loved it. Well, loved but... it would be a five. Yeah. Four uh, is I really liked it. Yeah. So you can't say you really liked it. I, I don't think but I'm comfortable it. enough to say that I, I, I really liked it, but okay. a solid three Can I... with a very cautious recommend. Yes, I agree yeah. with that. Okay. And I, can I give it a three, but give the story, her story, a five? Sure, why the heck not? Because we're all about the story. Okay, and speaking of actors, um, who was it that played the girl? Uh, a German actress by yes. the name of... Yes. Nadia Hilker? Hilker? How would you pronounce H-I-L-K-E-R? I don't know why you're trying to pronounce anything. I don't know why you asked me that. Well, that is not at all what I thought you would do. Oh, okay. You thought I'd say it was a girl from uh, Walking Dead? 
No, I didn't think he'd say what girl. Just random girl. What I the? thought you'd say it was Magna from Walking Dead. Oh. Everybody's nuts over the character Magna. What? We could have said, and it's got Magna in it from Walking Dead. <laughs> My brain is so far removed from Walking Dead right now. I guess. I've got so many other shows rolling around in my so head. So, yes, the actress, I would have said just it's the actress who plays Magna in Walking Dead. I have no idea what her name is in real life. Great. But you just told me her name's Nadia. Yeah, I at okay. least got that much right and that she's yeah. German. You should never try to pronounce names that you don't know. <laughs> Shouldn't talk as That sometimes. is the worst when people try. Oh, no. They say it like with the question mark at the end. <laughs> Am I saying this right? Like, just stop. All right. Just well, stop. let's move on. Let's just stop. Stop. All right. Any uh, final thoughts on it? No, I don't think okay. so. I think we've already talked too much about it. All right. All right. Uh, but I liked it. Okay. Okay. I did too. All right. So for Garbage In, Garbage Out, I have a movie on our list to talk about, but it's almost a horror movie in its own right, which okay. is Super Dark Times. Super Dark Times. Super Dark Times. What did you think uh, about Super Dark Times? It's, wow. It's one of those where it's kind of hard to watch and it gives you a lot of anxiety while you're watching it. But, like, it was really well done. So, yeah. Here's the thing. It's like I would say, wow, yeah, that was, it was really great. It was so well done. And all those kids did such a great job. And, wow, what a story. Right. But am I jumping up and down to watch it again? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> okay. So, so we get to the meat of it, which is... Um, it was a darkly realistic horror picture, yeah. I think. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Not knowing what to expect, we watched this while your sister was here visiting. It's mm -hmm. something that we had had on our list to watch with her from the last time that she was there. Yep. She chose this after we watched Crazy Rich Asians. Okay. Which normal, we watched those two together? Yeah, I think we did. That's, that's kind of funny. Yeah. I, I mean, don't remember because we watched two movies every night for 10 days, and I just, <laughs> my brain is just a big twist of films. Well, I think we watched those two together, and I believe that had we known, we would have watched them in the other order because yeah. we tried to do a horror movie and then a funny movie. We did that yeah. in the opposite order, and I didn't know what to expect with Super Dark Times, which right. added to my dread uh, watching it. Um, yeah. And, yeah, I think I would have rather ended the night on a lighter note because this was a super bummer uh, <laughs> movie for Really me. well done, though. Excellently done. Excellently done. Um, what did you think of Crazy Rich Asians? Uh, I like that. I like that a lot, too. Um, okay. Not my kind of... Uh, movie, it, generally speaking. It's interesting because a few people who I've talked to since we watched it said that it wasn't what they were expecting. I don't know if um, people thought it was going to be more funny or more... Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was fascinated by the, the richness and the texture. and I mean, it was from a book that was well-regarded. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, yeah, it got... I mean, it won a lot of awards and had a lot of yeah nice things said so about another it. Another comedy romance, again, stuff that I wouldn't necessarily choose to to watch under normal circumstances. But yeah, that is it that's part of it. I'm open minded, and I I will sit down and watch anything, and I am right. open to enjoy it. So right, all right, okay, okay. So in the meantime, we've brought it up already. But what are you thinking of Daredevil? We did the we binged Aside the first from season. Him being annoying <laughs> oh this season. God. I was gonna say uh, I've never seen a superhero cry as much. You know but why I appreciate I'm watching that. it. I understand why. 
while you're watching. But it. no, it's been it's been a lot of fun to watch though. Has it? Okay, yes. I wasn't it sure. It has been. I'm I'm mostly teasing. Okay. But um, yeah, he's he's not my favorite character in the show. So, okay. and I'm not talking about Punisher either. I'm just saying. I mean, it's Daredevil. It's his show. He should be the big draw, but right. he just isn't. Hmm, okay. It's all right. All right. Morning, Matthew. Well, here's my thing. It, it, to me, it feels like it brings realism to the superhero genre in the same way that Walking Dead brings realism to the zombie apocalypse. Okay. Feels like that could really happen. Well, yeah, because it's like he's out of breath after he's done fighting or in the yeah. middle of the fight even. Right. Um, it's not just the superpowered guy that's doing yeah. everything. There are f totally fanciful ele elements. He almost said I almost elephants. Said elephants. <laughs> I think I might be tired too. Fanciful elephants. There are totally fantasy elements to it. Um, I'm a fan of Daredevil. I started reading it back in, um, wow, well, I want to say mid to late 80s, as I remember it, when Frank Miller was working on it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I have a passing knowledge of, you know, Daredevil, and they've done, a, I thought, a good job of incorporating stuff, but it is right. also a reimagining in some ways and stuff. Yeah. But anyhow, why am I going on about this? Just because we're watching it, I yes, guess. Yes, we are. And we're yes, almost done with season two. I know you're excited for, for the Punishers. For Punisher season two? <laughs> that too. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, are we going to finish uh, season two of Daredevil and then watch Punisher again? Or do um, we go on to season three of Punish or Daredevil? Well, we're... I don't know what we'll have order to see where it falls in, in there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sounds good. Anyhow, Inter Internet Movie Database makes it look like the Punisher is in about one third of the shows. So is he just in season two? That's it. And then I don't think he's in three. Really? I, I don't know. Ahead? No, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyhow, I was going to say no, nobody get... cares about that. Let's move on. I do. <laughs> okay. What I mean, though, is let's move Frank on. Frank Castle to... has to get to the truth here. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we'll You're so see, unfeeling. We'll see what happens in season two. All right. Uh, I guess I would say on the crawling chaos. Okay. <laughs> So, I'm going to default to a, another YouTube video. No. Yeah, it's worth it, I think. Because I was amazed to learn why self-discipline is so hard. Okay. Which sounds ridiculous and well, boring. Well, not. But it's, a, it's about, specifically, it's say, actually that's... what it's called. Yeah. And, um... It's only about nine minutes, and I think absolutely worth a watch. Because, you know, see, I've talked myself into a corner without actually watching it. Like, I don't have the wherewithal to, to give a good explanation of why self-discipline is hard, except to say that environmental factors yeah. can play an important role, as well as physiological things. Um, self-discipline isn't just a matter of focus and concentrating on a subject and trying to block out outside stimuli. Right. There's more, a lot more involved in that. And there's a great essay, which is basically what this is. So it doesn't happen just right here in your brain. You can't just decide one day, I'm going to get up today and make some changes and I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to be disciplined in this area. I'm just going to do it. You can, but you have to change more. But more. It's than more than just, just focus. making it up in your mind and saying, "I'm just going to do it." Today. Exactly. Yes. Huh. And uh, there's another one on how to focus more intensely. That's something else entirely. But I'm actually going to include the link on self-discipline and why it's so hard. Okay. I also well, thought it was interesting just because it started out with Odin and what he sacrificed to <laughs> become self-discipline. Okay. But uh, well. A lot of us could use more self-discipline. Yeah. So I'm I, trying. Well, and... I've gotten you, pretty good at it in my old age, you actually. You should watch this then. And yeah. you might find some little tips and tricks and things 
that would be helpful. So I could use help. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Well, I think we killed it. I think so. I think so, too. And uh, again, uh, I already thanked our patrons, but I don't think you could ever thank them enough. So really thanks good. to our patrons, Goldfish, Big Alvy, and at Lonely Bob. Yes. See how I reversed the order that I did. Did. That was crazy. Yeah. I'm just a madman here tonight. Goldfish should be number one every so often. <laughs> well, she is when it comes to finding lost podcasts. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes. I found another batch that's lost too, but we'll talk about that some other time. I'm sure some of these shouldn't remain lost. I'm sure that they should remain lost. <laughs> That's a sea lard. That's a. <laughs> I think it's a blobfish, but yes, it looks just like a sea lard, only less attractive. Oops. Don't take your uh, blobfish on a plane or wow. your sea lard. That's all getting cut out or put to the end of the show. <laughs> Anyhow. Hey, that's a good opening. So. <laughs> That'll grab people's attention. Don't take your sea lard on the plane. Security would probably take it away from you anyway.